We're at the Canadian International Auto Show and Hyundai just unveiled a new concept car called the RN22e. They call this a rolling test bed for what could be coming for the N brand. Yeah. We're not allowed to get in this one, it's locked, but they do have an Ionic 6, which is what this is based on. Yeah. So we'll jump inside and talk about this. Well, it's nice coming to an auto show, Andrew, and we get to sit down. <laughs> I know there's a lot of walking, but boy, it's been a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. It's been great to be back at a Canadian auto show after COVID. Yeah, so we're here with Hyundai and they showed us a fantastic looking concept mm -hmm. vehicle. And it's basically all about the N brand. And yeah. That is their sports division, right? Well, I really like the N look, uh, whether it was the Elantra N that we drove or the Kona N. I think that the badging looks cool. They've got some red trim around in that green great blue color. I think it's sharp and if we saw something like this concept car on the road we would be like wow what a head turner. Maybe without the big wing on the back yes. but it's going to be something similar to that. So last night uh, we were at dinner and a bunch of the Korean executives mm -hmm. are here sitting next to me and sitting next to Andrea was the head of N yeah. uh, from Seoul Korea and he drives the Elantra or the Elantra N. That's right. And I thought uh, you know what? That's the one we like too. Well, I went on to tell him that I enjoyed test driving it so much, even more so than the Kona N, which has that shorter wheelbase. Felt a little bit more of a, of a trucky feel, go kart feel with the Kona N. The Elantra N really hits the sweet spot. All right. So, what is this concept? What are they trying to do? They're calling mm -hmm. it a rolling lab. So, they have their production cars, they have their N line, which is an N look. Then they have the real N cars. Then they have the rolling. Um, test vehicles and then they have like future development. So they're calling this like a rolling chassis That's based right. on the car we're sitting in, which mm -hmm. is what? The Ionic 6. So this was introduced at the LA Auto Show not too long ago and it is Hyundai's EV sedan and it reminds me a lot of the Ionic 5 of course. It's based on the same platform but when you get inside this it's actually quite different. The screens look similar two 12.3 inch screens. It's a nice curved dual display, but the center console is quite different. I like the fact that they've gone with um, a surround of these screens that is in a brushed aluminum look instead yeah. of the white that they have. And it's got these sort of fins on either side, it's reminiscent of a Cadillac from the 50s mm -hmm. almost. And the center console doesn't move and it's fixed. And I think for a sedan and a sporty sedan, this is kind of what I like. Yeah, and it's got a lot of storage underneath. It's a bit of a floating center console. I think that's nice for a sedan because I always feel like there's a bit of lack of storage compared to uh, an SUV or a small crossover. So storage in this is very good. It feels wide. It's comfortable. Even the seats in the Ionic 6, I mean, they are very supportive. Of course, we're not driving it. So you don't get that feel yet. One day we will. Um, and we look forward to that. What's well, the seating position, right? You just don't get the same seating position in an SUV you get no. in a car. You just feel much more uh, like your butt is down closer to the ground because it is, and it feels more planted. So let's get back to this uh, concept in a moment. They did have some specs. So they've already announced that they're going to have the Ionic 5, the SUV, mm -hmm. as an N, uh, end of year for US, beginning of next year for Canada. So I think this basically is what's going to happen with sure. this car. It's going to be an N as well. Well, we already see the Kia EV6 GT model, that performance model. So for sure, the Ionic 5 performance is going to come. For those of you who still love sedans, this is going to be a real treat to have something that sporty and high performance like that. All right. So what are the benchmarks for this new concept high performance N version? Mm -hmm. Well, they're saying zero to 100 kilometers an hour, or roughly 60 miles an hour in three and a half seconds. And the top speed is what, Andrea? Top speed is 250 kilometers per hour. And it's going to have a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, which is the same as the Ionic 5 and this Ionic 6. 580 horsepower. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And also, this is the same 800 volt architecture. 
So there's only two companies that use that. It's uh, Porsche with Taycan yeah. and Hyundai, Kia, Genesis have the 800 volt um, charging and system. So that really is advanced technology. And we talked to the guy last night and said, you know, you've come out with hybrids, plug-ins, mm. um, full of EVs and high performance EVs. You have more than any other company. Yeah. And he said, well, we thought everybody else was doing that. So they, they Isn't that funny? Yeah, so the Koreans were like, well, we they just assumed everybody was developing yeah. that, but they actually got way ahead of everybody because of it. And now they're outside of Tesla, they're the best-selling electric brand. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Outside of Tesla, they're the number one mainstream brand for fully electric vehicle sales. In Canada, Hyundai has sold over 23,000 electric vehicles, including hybrids and plug-in hybrids, and that's 21% of total sales. And in the United States, you're probably saying 21% are mm -hmm. electrified in Canada. Well, I'm not sure if you've been to Canada, but our fuel prices are way higher. Mm -hmm. So people are trying to save some money, and that's one of the reasons. So that's the concept vehicle is really a good glimpse into the future yeah. of the Ionic 6 as an N. It probably won't be that swoopy. Probably and, not. And with all those spoilers, but yeah. you get the general idea. But this Ionic 6 is going to be the next test drive for us. So mm -hmm. let's get into the details of this. And the range is incredible. The Ionic 6 rear wheel drive model gets 547 kilometers, 340 miles of EV range, and the all wheel drive model, 499 kilometers, 310 miles. Both rear wheel drive and all wheel drive models have the 77.4 kilowatt hour battery. The all wheel drive model produces 320 horsepower and 446 pound feet of torque. The rear wheel drive model has 225 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. So one of the things we were really impressed with with the Ionic 5, by mm -hmm. the way, it was just announced it won the SUV of the year in Canada. So that's a major feather in the awesome. cap of Hyundai, is the materials in here. Like some electric cars you get in, they're budget interiors mm -hmm. because they're trying to keep the weight and the cost down. Not the case with Hyundai. This looks and feels premium. Yeah, it's very upscale. Even this center console has got soft materials, different textures in here and as well on the door and the, panels. And too. the color it's combos, pretty, right? Color combos. Yeah. I mean, it just gives you such a nice vibe in here. It's very light and airy. And that was one of the things that Hyundai was going for in this vehicle. Lots of leg room in the front. Um, and how about you for Zach for headroom? Yeah, I'm fine. I mean, I have no problem just as long as you mm -hmm. can put the seat low enough. But just as some practical stuff, it's great to see that Hyundai continues to put real hard switches. Yeah. So you have control for the climate and for the radio. It's not like Kia where you toggle back and forth. They're dedicated yes. for each. I kind of prefer that. And then you've got all the buttons here for the windows and the central locks are not on the doors. They're on the center console. This reminds me of BMWs. Have you ever driven a BMW from the 90s? They used to have all the window control controls in the center. Yeah. Uh, but look, Andrea, your favorite. It's the, the gear selector yeah. down here. You don't love this. I, I think it's it's doable. You know what? There's lots of EVs with different gear shifters now. Pick the one that you like. There's lots of options out there for you. So you can either go into the screen to put on the heated and ventilated seats, or there is a hot key right here at the center console that you can just hit and do it. All right. So that's well, the, well organized. It is well organized. Mm -hmm. So that's the front. Oh, but before we get in the back seat, there's four dots on the steering wheel. And when we first drove the Ionic 5, we didn't know what that meant. Oh, you told us. That's Morse code, which is for H. That's right. The four dashes mean H, mm -hmm. Hyundai. All right, back seat, and then we'll wrap this up. One of the biggest complaints when we were at other auto shows about the Ionic 6 is the headroom, and it has a bit of a slope roof. So you'll have to try it out. I'm about 5'7", and I am good in the back. Zach also tried it out, and of course he gets a little bit higher to uh, the roof, but it's okay for him as well. Yeah, but look at the look at the legroom. Like this is, this is the thing. It's like this is just an enormous amount of legroom, and a perfectly flat four. So that is, that's the bonus part. Yeah, I mean, sedans offer so much rear leg room and this one is no exception. And then you've got storage pockets on both seats. And what I really like about this Ionic 6 is all those materials from the front carry through to the back. A lot of times you see manufacturers using less of those same materials and more hard plastic. That's not the case for this Hyundai. 
So that's a first look of Hyundai's new concept EV. So they do have Ionic 5N coming mm. to the Canadian market at the beginning of next year. In the U.S., it'll probably be a little bit earlier. So they are electrified, they are N, and they're coming, hopefully something like this.